How does heart failure cause central sleep apnea? I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health. As I've spoken elsewhere, central sleep apnea is a less common form of sleep apnea compared to obstructive sleep apnea, but it can be quite devastating both to the stress it puts on the heart from low oxygen levels and also the disruption it can cause to sleep. Heart failure or any type of cardiac dysfunction that can lead to inconsistent or poor flow of blood from the heart to the brain can lead to central sleep apnea. How does that happen? Well, when the heart is not pumping correctly, uh, the signals of the blood flow up to the brain are not very consistent. They can be delayed, they can be slow to react. And so basically the brain, when you're asleep, is deciding on when to breathe based on your oxygen and your carbon dioxide levels. Somebody who's asleep can't tell that they're short of breath or, or other sensations that they need to take a breath. So the brain does all the breathing for them. And the brainstem is the main area that decides on when the body needs to breathe. What can happen in heart failure is that the signal of this oxygen which is essentially the good part of the air and the carbon dioxide, which is the used up air that you wanna get rid of, those signals don't get to the brain on a consistent level. So what happens is an overshoot and an undershoot of breathing. The oxygen levels become low, so the brain breathes fast, faster and faster, but that signal that the oxygen levels are back to normal don't get there soon enough, so the body starts to breathe too fast and might overbreathe. This could cause the carbon dioxide levels to lower. And if the carbon dioxide levels become really low, then the brain says, hey, carbon dioxide's low, I don't need to breathe. And what happens is the breathing slows down and eventually stops. And when it stops, that's what we call a central apnea. But what can happen after that is that the oxygen levels have to fall again back to a low level for the brain to decide, hey, it's time to breathe again. So with these delays in the signal of the oxygen and carbon dioxide coming up to the brain, you get what could be called a periodic breathing pattern or hunter chain stokes respiration. These are a couple of the medical terms. But basically, if you were looking at a sleep study, you could see a breathing pattern where a person starts breathing too fast, they breathe too fast, too fast, then they slow down, then they stop breathing, and oops, I stopped breathing for too long, Got to start breathing faster, breathe faster, 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 and then slow down and stop again. So this pattern can happen throughout the night. And oftentimes in the middle of this pattern is a brain awakening where the person brain wakes up from sleep. And this can happen over and over again. And during this pattern, there could be a lot of stress placed on the heart and cardiovascular system, including low oxygen levels. I'll talk about treatment elsewhere, but generally treatment is controversial. Some people have a very mild form of central sleep apnea that does not need to be treated, but some of the treatments can involve sleeping in certain body positions like on sides or upright. Oxygen, CPAP are also very common treatments, and there are other potential treatments that are also uh, out there, but this is a definitely a controversial area. So as always, this video is for general informational purposes only, it does not constitute the practice of medicine and all medical decisions should be made under the supervision of a licensed medical provider. And as I always like to say, one of the keys to sleeping well is to relax.